Hey, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Trash and Treasure, where we take your trash and make it our treasure. Um, yeah, right. Um, although that would be an interesting concept. But, anyway, what we've got here is, as you guessed it, another trash find. It is a solar enlarger by Burke and James Incorporated, Chicago, Illinois. No idea how old this thing is. Um, but, and there's the support post for it. The base of it was completely rotten and delaminating, so that was tossed, of course. And the cord is completely, like, decomposing. It's not even cracked, it's just... It's like, well, it is cracked, but anyway. But look, this is the on-off switch on the thing. It is a Carling... Carling switch from Hartford, Connecticut. Catalog number 19, 5 amp, 125 volt, 3 amp, 250 volt. It's missing one of the screws that holds it together. Seems to work okay. Oh, there's a patent number on it. I'm going to have to look that up. Okay, but anyway, this cord is toast. So, and here is the socket at the top. It's a standard lamp socket, but heh, we're not even going to try to plug it in, so... Yeah, the stuff doesn't even cut. There we go. Yeah, that's no good. Uh, but anyway, we're going to set the camera up on the tripod and get to um, put a new cord on here because it just so happens that I have an old piece of lamp cord laying on the side of the table over here. And we'll see if this thing will fire up and what it will do. Okay, so I tried taking the lamp housing apart to put a new cord on it and I can't actually get the socket out of the housing without because there's still a bulb in it. Um, so we're going to have to just go ahead and dismantle this thing and go from there. Um, yeah, it's good enough. So let's take the loose parts off first. Here we've got the um, slide carrier, I guess you could say, or the negative. Well, it wouldn't be a negative. It'd probably be a slide, judging by the size. Um, this comes apart, and you place your piece of film or slide or whatever you have between your two, between the two pieces, kind of like in a um, microscope, and that goes in there like that. Okay, then we have our lens, which just fell out, um, but this is actually a wooden piece with a lens mount in it, and that we might use, we might not use it, I don't know, um, and this is the lens, it's a very heavy lens, it's an all metal lens, it says um, Volensack. F45 enlarging Velostigmat 90 millimeter focus, and it's very, very filthy, and it's an adjustable has an adjustable aperture lens on it, as you can see. That would be interesting to play with a little bit on a regular camera. Um, but as much as I hate. Um, dismantling or destroying old photography equipment. First of all, I have no use for an enlarger. Period. Secondly, this thing's trashed. It's rusting. Um, you can see the bellows is not even connected here anymore and it's deteriorating around the edges. Um, so, 
instead of scrapping it or anything, we're gonna see if we can turn this thing into a lamp. I mean, not gonna be able to use it for anything, so we might as well use it for something, right? Um, but okay, so this would have been your, to adjust your size. I don't know if there's a scale on here or not. No, there isn't. Um, okay, um, but there is a scale on here, and this is a pivot where this would rotate around the base. So let's see if we can get this piece off. It should there? Yeah, that's what I thought I would do. And this piece here is the mount on the stand. This is the clamp. And inside here, there's this little clip, which this is actually like a tape reel in here that pulls out to actually give a counterbalance to slide this thing up and down the post. Okay, so now that that's off, let's see if we can take this unit off here. I believe it's just held in with two screws, but we shall see. Screw in a cap nut. Yeah, that's what it looks like. This is the bellows assembly. Probably should adjust the camera if I don't think I'm getting half of what I'm doing. Better. Alright. And there's the bellows assembly, and you can see how utterly filthy that is inside. Well, maybe you can't see, but it is utterly filthy inside. And here is the, there's little rounded pins on here that this slides in and keeps that, it's spring-loaded against the top here. Okay, now here we have a nice huge lens in there that is the focusing, I believe that's the focusing lens. And I think, yeah, there's screws around the outer edge here that we have to take off to get the ball back. I don't even know what size bulb this would have in it. Um, and there's something loose inside as well, it sounds like. Whether that's a reflector or who knows. I would actually suspect something like a projector bulb. I've never used an actual enlar enlarger like this. So, we'll see I guess. And of course, we're going to have one screw that's not going to come out there, I guess. Now, this should just come off. Maybe a little bit of persuasion here because this thing's a little corroded and rusty. Okay, and here's our lens assembly. Bunch of crap falling out of it. And there we go. Well, this slide up and down. How's this work? There. That slides up and down. These pins are fixed in here. And there's a diffuser on the one side, and the lens is on the other side. Okay, so let's see what we've got in here as far as a bolt goes. Oh. 
think we can sell out. That is a shield something, I don't know. And there's our light bulb, so let's get that out of here. That is a dirty old light bulb. Oh, it's actually a photo enlarger bulb. If we can see that. Probably not. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like we got it. It's a General Electric photo enlarger number 212. I wonder how many watts this thing is. 212? I don't know, but it definitely needs clean. Um, so yeah, we've got our lamp socket out here. And we can now put a new cord on it. So I'll do that and we'll be back. Okay, and this just goes to show how much I know about this equipment. Um, we tore the whole thing apart to get to the light bulb. And um, that just pops right off. <laughs> Oh well, it needed cleaned out anyway. You can see there's a lot of rust inside. So, it's going to need a new coat of black, flat black paint. But yeah, so I'm going to get a new light installed in that and I'll be back. 